Hi, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to add a zone to your keypad directly, physically to your keypad. I'm just gonna open the back of this keypad and show you what I mean. Right, to open it, I just put my screwdriver in here. I do not push it in deep. I just push it a little bit, maybe one millimeter, and then I lift this clip out of its resting place. Notice that I do not push the screwdriver in deep. Otherwise, look, if it comes through there, you will damage the circuit board. Right, so here is the curved keypad, and this is the same on other newer keypads, and you will see that there is an option there. It says ZN. So over there it says ZN, and what that means is you can connect, physically connect a zone directly to your keypad. Maybe you cannot get the zone to your main board. Maybe your main board is too far away, and you just wanna have a connection quite close to your keypad instead of running a whole other cable. Right, you can do that using the keypad, and I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is determine which zone I want this to be. This could be any of the 1 to 64 zones. Why do I say 64? Because this panel that I'm using happens to have the ability to have 64 zones. Right, so I can choose any zone to be here. So that means that whatever I choose this zone to be, say for example, I have my expander here. There is zone 9. 10 and 11. You can see 11, I've used a resistor between the positive, the output of the zone, and then the earth or the negative on the return. So currently the zone is not violated. You can see that I've got this resistor there between the two terminals. But what happens if I wanted zone 11 to be over here on the keypad? I'm going to show you how to do that. Now the first thing you need to do is determine what keypad number this is. Each keypad has its own number. So in order to do that, I need to get into the installer mode. The default installer code is four nines. You repeat nine four times, followed by the star key. You can see it says installer menu. Now, in order to determine the keypad number, I'm now going to put 243 star. And it's telling me that this keypad is actually number three in my system. Right, so this is keypad number three. That is extremely important. Remember that number. Right, now I can press hash. Now we go to location 242. Right, now at this point, it's asking you for zone number. But first, you must put in the keypad number. So mine was keypad three. So I've pressed three and I press star. Now you can see that I've already put 11 there because I want it to be zone 11. Now let me just show you if I wanted it to be zone 8. I would press 8 star. So all that's doing is you are telling the keypad and the panel that the zone on board on this keypad is now going to take over zone 8. Which means that zone 8 is now sitting physically on this keypad. If I want it to be 11, I'll press 11 star. Right, so now I've mapped zone 11 onto this keypad. I can press hash. If your keypad was keypad 1, then you would do it as follows. 242 star 1 star. Now you are going to map the zone onto your keypad 1. So if you wanted to do zone 11, then you would put 11 here. And now you have actually mapped zone 11 onto keypad one. So keep in mind that if you've got multiple keypads, you must make sure that you are aware which zone you've put to which keypad. So in my case, I want to clear this. So I'm just gonna press zero there. So that is now back to normal. And I just want to check my keypad three. So I've gone to location 242. I press three star and you can see there 11 is sitting on the keypad. Right, so that is now done. Now the next thing you need to do is actually make sure that zone is active. So what I do is I go to 201 star. Now these are all the zones that I have on partition one. So I want zone 11 to be on partition one. So you can see there zone 11, it is already on partition one. Yours might look like that. You need to enable it by pressing the star key. If I go to zone 12, you can see zone 12 is not active. And look at my zone 13 is inactive. So just showing you here, you must enable the zone to that partition that you are busy with. Right, so that is now all done. Now you also need to make sure the zone type has been set. So if I press the four nines to get back into the installer menu, 
Right, I'm in the installer menu, and because it's zone 11, I press 2 star. And what I'm doing is I'm just changing the zone type. So if I press star now, that is the properties for zone 9, 10, 11. So you can see that I've made zone 11 an instant zone. Where do I get this from? Recall that every zone on your alarm system needs to be set in terms of the type of zone. Is it an entry zone? Is it a follower zone? Is it a panic zone? Most zones are either entry or instant. So that is where I got the number four from. Right, now I've pressed the hash key and you can see there it says zone not ready, zone 11. Now, if I take it to the main board, you can see that zone 11 is actually connected. So why is it saying not ready? Well, have a look at the keypad. On the keypad, the zone is open. So now what I need to do is actually connect the zone. So say, for example, you put your resistor here. Right, so I've connected my resistor to the ZN or the zone terminal, but now the negative or the output of the zone needs to be connected to the ground. There's the ground. So notice my resistor is connected between ZN and ground, how you would normally connect a zone. Now just note that I'm just putting the resistor there as though it's a zone, but obviously you would be connecting it up onto your passive or maybe your door contact, which I'll show shortly. I just want to show the working of the system. So there you can see the zone is now no longer in the violated position because the zone, which is now zone 11, is now going through the 3K3 resistor to the ground. The ground I just picked up on the keyboard Pad, there's the ground terminal which is the second from the right. Now let's look at the keypad. Right, notice that the zone 11 violation has gone away. Don't worry about this power flashing here, that's just because I haven't connected a siren. Right, what I'm going to do now is remove this resistor here and show you that it will become violated. So I've violated the zone because I've opened the resistor there, I've opened the connection and you can see immediately it says zone 11 is violated. Right, I'm going to repeat this now using a door contact. Right, first showing you the zone wiring. You can see I've got a blue wire and a white wire here. The white is connected to the ground and the blue is connected to the zone option there on the keypad. What I've done is I've now connected that to a door contact. You can see here is my door contact. It's still saying zone 11. Why? Because the magnet is far away. When I bring the magnet together, you'll see that that zone 11 is gone. And then when I separate the magnet, you can see that it says zone 11. Now, just a note, zone 11 is here on this expander. So I'm going to remove this resistor and violate zone 11. But because the keypad is now taking precedence, therefore, even though zone 11 would have normally been violated, look, the zone is open. Now, having a look at my zone here, when I bring the magnet next to my uh, door contact, you can see that it goes to ready again. So even though on the main panel the zone is open, the keypad takes precedence. So the alarm now only looks at the condition of the zone on the keypad rather than on the panel. So you can see now I'm closing the zone, the zone is no longer violated, alarm is now ready. Right, I'm not going to do this whole setup for another zone just as a revision I'm now going to do for zone 8. I'm now going to do the whole thing with another zone as a revision. I'm not going to do zone 8. So having a look at my main board, there's zone 8. It's currently not wired and the zone is currently disabled. So the first thing I need to do is go and enable that zone. Right, so it is four nines followed by the star key. I'm in the installer mode. I'm now going to one star because I need to get to zone 8's type. So I press star, star, star all the way until I get to zone 8. Can you see that 8 is disabled, 0. So I'm going to make 8 a instant zone. So it's now an instant zone. I've now made 8 an instant zone. Now when I've exited, can you see that zone 8 is flashing? Because if you look at zone 8, it is open here. There's no zone here. There's no resistor here. So it is now violated. If I had to put a resistor here, across zone 8 to the minus, you will see that the keypad will no longer pick it up as a violation. Now I'm going to configure the keypad to be zone 8, but I just want to show you one thing before that. I'm going to get into the installer mode, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
star. Make sure that that zone is part of that partition. Mine already is, but I just want to show you if you can't seem to get the zone to be active on the keypad, just make sure. Now, this alarm already had it done. You can see zone 8. Yes, it is part of partition 1. So just make sure that there is a Y next to the zone that you are trying to bring into the keypad. Right. Now I want to just check what is the number of this keypad. So I now need to go and press 243. And you can see that this keypad is number 3. I keep that in mind. Now I go to 242. I'm going to configure the zone on this keypad. Notice it says zone number, sublocation. So I'm pressing 3 star because it is keypad number 3. Now remember I had it already configured with zone 11. Well now I want it to be zone 8. There we go. I exit the menu. Right, now notice it says zone 8 and it's still flashing zone 11. Right, let's first look at zone 8. Now zone 8 is supposed to be this zone because this is the zone that is now connected to the keypad. That means when I bring this leaf spring, this door contact, close to this magnet, it should actually close zone 8. Zone 11 should carry on flashing. So let's close the door now. Now look what has happened. Zone 8 is no longer violated. Zone 11 is violated. And if I open the door, zone 8 should come online. There you'll see zone 8 is now violated. Zone 11 is still violated, but now zone 8 is gone. Why is it doing that? Remember that zone 11 was open here. Now the alarm panel no longer sees zone 11 as the keypad zone. And what it does is it now sees it back on the expander and it is currently open circuited. So what I'm going to do now is just close the zone. Uh, imagine that would be a passive or a door contact, but it, it is no longer violated. And let's look at the keypad. There's the keypad. It is saying zone 8 only now. And when I close the door, bringing the magnet to the door contact, you can see that all of it is now ready. Nothing is violated. All right, so that brings me to the end of the video. And thanks for watching and cheers.